This is Jerry with Jerry's Retirement Wisdom. We previously posted a video where we painted a hallway. This time I thought I'd post a video on the two important steps to a painting project, and that's getting ready and clean up afterwards. Stay tuned. So, to get started, we purchased a gallon of paint. It was already agitated at the store, so we won't need a stir stick and stir it up. If you're using old paint, you might need to stir it up to get ready. Got a good roller, a 3 8 nap roller goes with that. You need a couple of good rags and those simply go in your pocket so that if you have an accident you have a wet rag quick and ready. Same way with a little blade. Have that uh, in your pocket in case you need to scrape up something in a hurry. We have a paint. We have a quart bucket. This is two and a half quarts. And I've got a nice uh, two inch bristle brush and it's an angle brush. An angle. Keep this for later after you clean up your brush, put it back in there, it keeps it nice and neat. You can use the pan just the way it is, but I like to use a pan liner because that makes cleanup so much better uh, when you're done at the end of the day. Just put the liner in the pan, and then when you pour your paint in there, later on today when you go to clean up, uh, you just pull the liner out and you have way less paint to clean up out of your paint. Like I said, good quality roller, not a cheap one, a good quality roller. And uh, the roll that goes on it, your brush, and your bucket. So before we get out in the hallway, we want to get our paint ready to go. They have different pour spouts on these cans, but I just have seen use them the way they've always been used. Good quality can opener. You can get those at the paint store when you pick up your paint. It's much better than a screwdriver which tears up your lid. The lid doesn't have any drips. So the first thing we're going to do is pour paint into our roller pan. And like I said, we're doing a whole hallway so we'll need a pan full. Always take your brush and clean these drips that come after you pour. Otherwise, it's going to run down in your paper, behind the paper in your can. You're going to end up on the floor or the table or whatever surface you're working on. We're also going to pour this bucket about a third floor. This will be the paint that we use to cut in with when we cut the edges of our wall and down at our trim. We'll be using that bucket. And that's really a difference in how I paint versus maybe some others. We don't use the big gallon bucket anymore. So put the lid back on so your paint doesn't dry out. Alright, so we have our trim paint and our roller paint. And we can simply fill our roller with the first bit of paint before we carry it to the other room where we're going to do our painting. Just to put everything together and get that first bit of paint soaking up before we get started. Okay, so we finished with our hallway painting project. Now all we need to do is clean up. So here's how we go about cleaning up and a few tips. Okay, first off, your roller, even though it looks dry after that last time that we, we uh, rolled the paint out of it, if you take your roller and stand it on its edge and take your blade, and just push it down, like peeling a, cutting the corn off a cob, about an inch at a time, you will be surprised how much paint is still in a roller, even after you've run it dry on the wall. My guess is there's a good half a pint of paint still in that roller. So if you want to save your paint, for a touch up or you didn't use that much in your project, if you want to clean that roller and save it for another time, use your blade and scrape that paint out of your roller. Then put your roller in the bucket. You can even put your roller put the roll in the bucket and put your roller in the bucket. 
and I'll show you how we're going to clean that in just a moment. Remember those rags that we had in our pocket. Now, you've got paint in your tray, and you've got leftover paint in your cutting bucket or your trim bucket. So let's pour all that out and get as much as you can of that paint out of your trim bucket. There's no point in wasting it. You certainly don't want to wash it down the drain or outside wherever it is you're going to throw away your residual paint. Put that bucket in your <coughs> five gallon bucket. Now take our gallon bucket, our paint bucket, take the lid off. We don't need this guy now. Put it in here, we'll wash it off later. Take that tray and your paintbrush and tip it up on the corner and just work that paint out of your tray. Now remember we put a liner in our tray before we started. That's going to make this a whole lot easier. So we're going to wipe that paint out of our liner and get as much as we can in our bucket and save what we did use for another time for a touch up. The good thing about latex is you can go back later if you keep your old paint and you can touch up and it won't be seen if you use it from the same batch that uh, it came from. Now look here. Pull that liner out of our tray. The tray's clean. We're done with the tray. Now we take the liner and throw it away. So we pitch that liner. Now we've got our paint in our bucket. We're going to wipe that brush just as clean as we can get it. Make sure you clean that edge in case you got any drips because you know how it'll sneak behind the paper label and next thing you know it's on the table or the floor. So put your brush in your cleanup bucket. Put your lid back on your bucket. Good thing to do that with is a dead go pallet. There we go. And we still got a third of a gallon left over after we did really two small hole hallways. Now I don't want to use dirty water to show you how to clean your brush and your uh, roll rolling roller. So I've got a clean one here. But I've got this device here. My father-in-law always called it a spinner. I suppose it's a roller cleaning tool. Their official name. What you can do is you take a bucket of water, soak up your roller real good, you shove this in the end of your roller, and then you can spin it and spin that water right out. Use soapy water. Dunk it again or use the garden hose. And do that about half a dozen times. Spinning that down in your five gallon bucket, and you can clean your roller out and use it over again. And you're wondering about your paintbrush. You take your paintbrush and you wash it real good, use soap and water, you way down in there and clean all that paint out of your out of your uh, brushes here. You can even take a wire brush and brush that paint to get up here on this part of your paintbrush. Brush that off and then brush that dry paint. They get right up against the ferrule there, and you brush that out with a wire brush. Then, when it's rinse, you want to rinse it, you just squeeze this part, put that in your bucket, and you spin your brush out too. See how easy that is? Okay. Then, remember I told you keep your keep your box because when you're done spinning your brush out, put it back in the box, and then close your box up, and that helps your brush keep its shape as it dries. It'll dry right in that box, and then it keeps that nice shape, and it isn't all uh, looking like alfalfa's hair. So there you go. We've painted our hallway. I've shown you some tips on how to clean up afterwards. And we've got a project hopefully well done. Thank you for joining me. Remember, this is Jerry's Retirement Wisdom. 
And if you like our video, be sure to like and subscribe. It helps us keep those videos coming, and we'll be back next time. I hope you liked my video on how to get ready to paint and how to wrap up afterwards. If you like these videos, be sure to hit the like and subscribe button down below. We'll see you next time.